Hello everyone, I'm Count Christo and welcome back to the Black Ice campaign. Let's do this thing. So, at long last, the uh, the plan to attack through Belgium into northern France is about to be unleashed. We should reposition some troops from the, uh, the rather frustrating uh, Dutch campaign. It was uh, causing us some problems. I was hoping to have France capitulated by May, but uh, yes, they're being... Being a bit tenacious here. The forts in uh, in Black Ice, as I've mentioned, are insanely powerful. Uh, which I think, now I, th I used to think it was a stupid mechanic. Now I think it's kind of awesome. Uh, unite people under government. Oh, that seems really good. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I used to think it was a dumb mechanic. I thought the Black Ice forts were just stupidly powerful. But it actually makes loads of sense. Because to break the fort, you actually have to break the fort, right? Which you can do with either air power or with, uh, or with just repeated attacks. Especially if you have lots of uh, leaders with the siege artillery trait. Three are we enough? No, I mean, you need four. One more here. I was confused why these weren't uh, weren't showing they needed more assigned to them. Uh, Budapest, one, two, should be three. Here, one. Let's get all this military policing done and then we'll launch the plan. So I think we can just, because uh, you know, those guys are holding that tile in Belgium just fine, but they're not going to be able to push out from it. So I think we should be fine to just leave a couple of guys keeping them in check and then launch the attack on France regardless. And then we'll come back and deal with them later when we can concentrate our air power there and things. Although we are already concentrating air power there. But once we take the uh, French air bases from them... Oh, I've been reading the wrong number on all of these. I think I've been reading resistance strength. No, no, I was reading the right one. Okay. One more there. Three more there. Two more there. And one there. Sorted. Okay, we are going to need more uh, military police for France. People saying in the comments we should make puppets. I know you're kind of, you're like actually right, but I don't want to. Oh, the war support bug's fixed, by the way. Although it's gone down to zero. I saw we had more than zero a second ago. Uh, give me, you know what, give me another 60, 70. Uh, yeah, so it's been fixed. It used to go down by 0.8 every month. Now it only goes down by, I thought it was 0.01. But now it looks like it's 0, 0.00. Maybe they fixed it again? I don't know. Anyhow. So, tanks. We're going to do a... Uh, yeah, we have pretty much... Oh, the supply is not calculated yet. Yeah, there we go. We do have a supply issue here. Uh, so we'll see if we can reduce the number of infantry around, I guess. The tanks should be able to do this all on their own. Or on their lonesome. I think we'll have the tanks very heavily concentrated. Uh, of course, I can't... Uh, can't attack plan all the way to Berlin yet because they're not at war with Belgium. So these 24, I think these 24 will be plenty. Rundstedt's going to be the, uh, the man of the hour for the taking of France, I think. Uh, Rommel can stay up here pretty much. Just uh, deal with these guys, Rommel. Yeah, Rommel, you're benched. <laughs> I'm putting you on the bench until you can deal with these darn uh, English resistors here. The crash of General Weaver. The general staff of the Luftwaffe has crashed. Has he died? He's injured. He's not dead. Cool. Uh, deploy units. The mechs are ready. Nice. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. The mechs can assist in the invasion of France. So that's going to put us way over the supply limit. How much do each of these weigh? Uh, 4.3. Wow. Yeah, so that's something we haven't done. Uh, no, we don't. Not, no free templates. They're cheating. Uh, oh, what? They've moved the support companies. And they've deleted a bunch of my support companies. What? I have more support companies in here. But what was it? Maybe they've gotten rid of some support companies. Okay, so it looks like Black Eyes got updated again. Um, there do seem to be far less support companies. Like, I'm going to have to go and... Is this all the same, though? It's now 31 combat width. 
which I still don't really understand because he's supposed to add two and so are these. But, uh, and these don't have combat width. Oh, that's why the Armored Car Reconnaissance Battalion actually does have combat width. Okay. Um, well, what were the others we had? Um, I thought we had more recon than this. Reconnaissance, Motorcycle Reconnaissance, Armored Car Reconnaissance. Yeah, where's our Cavalry Reconnaissance? Is Cavalry Reconnaissance no longer a thing? No, they have Cavalry Con. So why can't I put Cavalry Con in here? It might be a bug based on the fact that this template is uh, from the old version. Hmm. Well, that's frustrating. Can I see... Is it using... Ca it's, it's using Cavalry Equipment. Can I see why you're using Cavalry Equipment? No. And are these normally going to use any Cavalry Equipment? It looks like no. And these... No. Okay, so the I think the stuff is still in there. It's just... Uh, it's just confused because the layout has changed. Okay. Either way... Rommel, I'm going to need you to move some men out of the supply zone. In order to facilitate both the addition of the uh, the mechanized and just the current situation. Sounds good to me. Alright, tanks in position on Belgium. Let's get the mechanized in here. The mechanized won't enter because of the supply issues that bad. Well, I think we can actually just ride out the supply grace, to be honest. So just, just come over here. I think we'll be able to launch our attack so quickly that this low supply won't be a huge deal. Let's, uh, that being said, though, let's reduce that a bit more here. Make sure these guys are not moving in, that's good. Because as soon as you move into Belgium, it's a new supply zone, and we can get extra supplies in through the Ardennes. Don't worry too much about how much sense that makes, <laughs> given how there aren't many roads through the Ardennes and stuff. Weren't, sorry, not aren't. I imagine there are now. Okay, so this is roving. I don't know if they need to be... I don't think we need a roving army anymore, do we? Who's the other roving one? These guys. Yeah. Uh, I think we can probably consolidate down, actually. Don't think we need a roving thing right now. We've only got one real front. Oh, the uh, Brits have fled, apparently. Let's see if we can beat them now. There's only two of them. Yeah, much higher stats. Cool. Excellent. Well... They thought they could hold, but decided, no, let's go. Let's go help France out instead. War with Belgium. Suddenly, flick switch all the planes over to Belgium. We'll have some of the mechanized move east uh, to assist over there. You guys, too, can go through to Brussels and Namur. While the others make a mad dash through here. And the tanks, if I could uh, select them, are going to just tear through the center here. We want a nice, relatively wide penetration because we don't want to get pocketed, which is why I'm sending a couple of guys east coming in from here. Sure, let's get that extra supply zone established early. Attacking into the other end as well. Obviously, you're going to instant win these battles because our tanks are ridiculous. So are our mechanized, for that matter. We should slow it down. New military factories coming in. Well, rubber is still a huge issue. Uh, oil is not a big issue, really, anymore. As much, anyway. So let's put any new factories straight onto med, med panzers. I would like one of you to take these two tiles. There we go, coming in there nicely, overrunning this guy. Unless he's going to retreat to this tile, but I think he's overrun. They're holding out there in Dunkirk, the Brits, the British garrison divisions, doing their best to hold us back there. I don't suspect that's going to go their way. Rommel has finished his task. Okay, Rommel, you can... Uh Uh, yeah, you know what, Rommel? Go prepare for the invasion of Greece. Redeem yourself from your disgraceful display against, uh, against those, uh, Dutch holdouts. 
by taking out Greece in style, please. Just establish a couple more port garrisons here. Don't want any surprises. Lots and lots of ports we're going to have to garrison. Looks like we'll need a new port garrison army. Okay, the Blitzkrieg continues. Give me some close air support. Moving into northern France, please. Uh, if we could take this air base, that would be ideal. Another pocket established. Any troops not moving? Yes, these mechanized. Just keep them, keep them down over there. Rush down to Verdun. Almost driven them out of Dunkirk. They just keep landing in Dunkirk. We have got air superiority over here now. We have got a huge air base now. Excellent. All right, you guys can move down here. Give some more assistance. Northern France. There goes Belgium. <clears throat> Not a problem. All right, so the infantry should be uh, strategically redeploying to the front. Just lock down this area. Make sure the Allies can't counter-offensive. Okay, good. The unstoppable speedy tank push to Paris is well underway. Mechanize. Get down here. I think the mechanized are our stupid fast ones, right? Yeah, <laughs> holy Christ. <laughs> they can go at 18 kilometers an hour. That's absurd. <laughs> We're going to use uh, lots of mechanized for the invasion of the Soviet Union. I've been told the Soviets' piercing stat is absurd, so we basically, there's not much advantage from using tanks over mechanized, so we're going to see what we can do to have a, just a stupidly mechanized army. It just seems fun, apart from anything else as well. <clears throat> okay, the blitz through here. The reason, one reason anyway, the French aren't holding out so well, by the way, is they have this, uh, oh, maybe they've got rid of that. They used to have a modifier called Blitzkrieg Shock, which gave them like minus 50% organization and crazy stats like that. Crazy unhistorical stats like that. Keep the rush going. They're, uh, they are relatively high on stability. We will have to break them. I believe the French didn't surrender until after this line broke, I believe. Uh... Although, while they hadn't surrendered, they had done things like ceased take, tearing down bridges and stuff like that. So there. Yeah, they weren't really making... They hadn't surrendered, but they weren't making huge efforts to still win. They weren't making the kind of coordinated efforts you would expect of someone intending to continue fighting. I believe that's right. Could be wrong, though. The French incompetence at the beginning of World War II is obviously... Hugely exaggerated in popular culture. Do. They were pretty incompetent in several ways. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it's it's definitely exaggerated. Do, do, do. See if we can overrun that guy. I really like the speed of it, the crazy speed of advance you can get. All right, got another couple of British divisions pocketed there. Keep the push going, just never stop. Don't give them time to reorganize. Give me some planes over West Northern France, please. You guys come down here for Central. Good. More free military factories. Wow. Um, we actually went up to 70 on the Med Panthers. Crazy. Um, I don't really want much else. What does the mechanized division use a lot of? We could put something else in the mechanized division. Tankette completely slows them down. I don't want to give them anything that slows them down. Is the thing. Oh yeah, people were saying that the uh, the anti-air battalion has far better piercing. You see. No, they have zero piercing. They were saying you should just use anti-air rather than a support anti-tank. Or were they saying that motorized anti-tank was the way to go? I can't recall. Either way, uh, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to go for the uh, the pocket here, actually. Let's see if we can actually pocket the whole Maginot line before they have a chance. 
to do anything about it. I mean, I don't know how long this push took, but it's been pretty freaking fast. I'll tell you that. Paris has been encircled. Le Herve, I don't know how you say that. Fall of Paris. Excuse me. <laughs> Versailles has fallen. That ain't Paris. Mm -mm, do, 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 do. Uh, yes, right, we need to sign those factories. Um, yeah, honestly, just... Oh, yeah, the people were saying you lose um, uniforms in combat at an alarming rate. I bet that's true if you have long drawn-out combats. But considering we don't, I don't know if that's going to be true. Because the only combats we're fighting at the moment are these kind of blitzkrieg, tanks roll in and destroy everything kind of combats. We don't have to win many fights here. If we just fight a holding action, even if they retake all of this area, there's no victory points there, so... Oh, sorry, I wasn't zoomed in enough. Apparently you have to be this zoomed in to see victory points. That's absurd. I miss strategic view adjustments. <laughs> it doesn't work with Black Ice, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. Just keep pushing. You keep clearing them out. You keep going. You just help them. Paris has forts, I guess. No? How are you holding so well in Paris? Crazy. Alright, get Vici. Keep coming down. Walk there. Good. Pocketed. Very low supply. I um, mean, we might capitulate them before they even reach the supply at the end of the supply grace period, though, to be honest. We'll see, I guess. I'm surprised they haven't capitulated already. There's radio detection. Nice. We can start building some radar in uh, northern France. Help deal with the British. Let's get some encryption. Change those Enigma codes. More factories. We have France set to the right kind of occupation, yes? Yes, good. How much military points are we spending on occupation right now? 0.9. It's quite high. Uh, I think it's worth it, though. You get 10% more factories, 20% more resources. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Excellent. Uh, sure, go on. Everyone's telling me I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose crazy amounts of equipment in combat in attrition. Sorry. So let's produce loads more, just basic infantry equipment and uniforms, because everyone needs uniforms. Everyone needs a gun. We've actually encircled some Brits. On the Maginot line. Nice. You guys, stay assigned to this. You've taken Vichy, good. Alright, sure, roll on south. Take Provence. Uh, Infantry-wise, a few more assigned to the Maginot line. Would not go amiss. Cool. I think, though, again, we'll have capitulated them before that becomes an issue. <clears throat> Clear out all this. Magnificent. Planes could do with a bit of redeployment. You guys want to see if you can stretch down there. You guys want to come over here to Western France. We will keep some planes over Northwestern France. Sorry, Northeastern France. No, it is West, oh, West Northern France. How is this West Northern France? I'm not going crazy, right? This is the east side of France. <laughs> huh. Confusing. Take care, take care. Try an overrun, maybe. Keep going, don't stop. Sure. So if they're going to attack us from there, we'll halt and drive them from their defensive positions. Matter of weeks, looks like. It's what it's going to take me to take France. When did we start this invasion of France? Not actually. Not certain. I should have checked so we could get it exactly. Changing the Enigma codes. Sure. French merchant fleet captured. Hey, nice. With the fall of France, we've managed... France hasn't fallen. With the fall of France, we've managed to take a significant number of merchant ships and various harbors and ports. Army size. Small, experienced. Army command. Rename cities. Sure, whatever. SS, France Gren Grenadier. Oh, I think these are just all the events firing again because uh, in the four year plan which actually gives us the fourth year fourth year 
starting the fourth year. Let's do uh, no need to actually only have one of these. Uh, create Serbia, no need, no need. Invite to the Axis, we don't need Italy. Okay. So we should only have one four-year plan thing now. Good. Mm. We actually dip below 300,000, sorry, 35,000 HQ equipment, it looks like. Let's have a look. Yeah, whoa, way below, what the heck? Maybe combat destroys crazy amounts of HQ equipment. All right, well, in that case, give me some more. I think it's just firing all the events again because it's been updated. Uh, that often happens when you update mods. But many of their scripted events will refire. Doesn't really matter. Oh, did that give me any templates? No, cool. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Get breast already. Breast should do it, I think. Should make them fall. Hmm. More overruns. Bordeaux, also. Big victory point. Again, likewise. Marseille. Sorry, I have to refer to the city as Provence. My bad, I think I did. Come on, France. At this point, you gotta surrender. If you don't surrender, I'm gonna start pushing on your Maginot Line for provinces. And you don't want that. There's gonna be a lot of dead Frenchmen if you do that. There goes Denmark. Wasn't really paying a huge amount of attention up here. As was probably abundantly obvious. Let's just get the port garrisons done. I think I'm just going to overstack on the port garrison guy. I think that's fine. Some French ports before the Brits launch a immediate counter-offensive. I wonder if there were any I think the answer is no, but I wonder if there were any plans in Britain to like land in uh, German ports while they were doing the offensive into France. That would have gone really badly. <laughs> but I don't know, it could have been interesting. If there were any plans. More panzers, nice. We'll be having you in the main panzer army. <coughs> This is probably too large for a mobile army, it's my guess. I think we'll want to have, uh, we'll want to split this up. Well, unless we, we end up kind of mechanizing our entire army, <laughs> which I think could be fun. <laughs> if we have just a stupidly mechanized, like if all our main infantry armies were mechanized, I think that would be hilarious. Alright, some resistance growing already. Let's, uh, let's get the lid on it now so it doesn't grow out of control. Point nine. Would you? Thank you. One, two, three, four. I think should be enough for point nine. Resistance growth two point seven. That's outrageous. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Point seven. That's much more manageable. Is three enough for two? No, you need one more. Okay. Uh, here. One point one. Only got one left. Okay. Give me these guys. No, not ready yet. Okay. We might need even more. It takes a lot of military police to hold down these areas. But despite that, I'm still not establishing Vichy France. It takes a lot of military police. I'll make a lot of military police. France, how have you not capitulated? This is outrageous. Is it because Metz is a big victory point? Still. It seems ridiculous that they have not capitulated yet. get here please we'll put some more infantry on here be a bit embarrassing if they did a breakout from here come on these guys should surrender Iceland takes control of its foreign affairs oh <laughs> not really though because the English immediately invade where do I want troops do we need to take out Norway this is contested now right no it's actually friendly because Norway is not involved in the war so by keeping Norway out of the war, we uh, we secure total control of the Danish belts without even having to launch a naval invasion. That's pretty good. In my book. 
That seems like a uh, pretty good result. Norway in terms of resources. Some aluminium. Some tungsten. We might just kill Norway and leave... Sorry, kill Sweden and leave Norway neutral. Saves us defending all these ports. They might eventually join the Allies, of course. They have a socialist party, apparently. Cool. France. Give it up. Live up to the overblown stereotype that I spoke of earlier. Just surrender. How? How is France not surrender? This is outrageous. They're at 90%? Come on now. We'll deal with the plane situation once we've finished. Someone just had very bad supply? I don't see anywhere. Someone get pocketed? Yes, down here. The flight of Rudolf Hess. He was arrested by Home Guard soldiers and soldiers in, in Scotland yesterday after parachuting down from a heavy pilot. Mm. He wanted to uh, negotiate a peace on his own authority. Which is a bit of a weird thing to try and do. But uh, there you go. People do strange things. I wonder why the heck he did that. I mean, like, in real life. No, he did, he did it this time because the event told him to. <laughs> the MTTH came up. Come on, France, fall. I want to end the video having done the whole fall of France in one video. <laughs> More oil from the Soviets, please. Wow, the Soviets are exporting loads of oil these days. And, yeah, if we can buy seven for one factory, I'll take it on rubber. More decisions. Oh, good lord. Fuhrer headquarters. Relocates the Fuhrer and the Fuhrer HQ to a new location. Hitler does not show weakness and will not evacuate in the thread, which I assume means threat of near enemies protect the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer's death will damage the Third Reich massively. Well, why don't we just go to the Fuhrer bunker and stay there forever? Fuhrer bunker is an air raid shelter. Yeah, why don't we just leave him in the Fuhrer bunker forever? Go to the Fuhrer Bunker. Construct the Wolfensands. What is that? Wolf... Skazans... Eh, whatever. I don't know. Tanberg. We can build something over here. Which I guess is like an advanced bunker. It's currently in the HQ. Okay, the Fuhrer will stay in his current location. Whatever. He's staying in the Fuhrer Bunker. That seems fine. Uh, Himmler's Occult Quests. 10% chance of gaining a good occult. No, that's just don't be silly. Attract Mine. What is a tracked mine? You know, like a mine on tracks? I think they actually are. That's pretty cool. Unmanned ground vehicles. Sweet. Uh, but no, I'm not using 30 civilian factories for half a year. Rights Commissariat for Belgium. No thanks. Military build-up. Uh, we give uh, war support. But they're the kind of weird, like, oh, the German army must be exactly as it was historically events. So I'm not taking those because they make me slightly uncomfortable. All right. Continue the attacks into France. I don't mean to be rude to the mod makers. It's a very good mod they've made. But there is a certain degree of obsession with the German military that I find uh, disconcerting. Not specifically amongst the mod developers exclusively, just in general. I don't know if I've linked in, in the comments that uh, that sketch from... Oh, what is it? Adoe, are you watching? What's the sketch I'm thinking of from Pastor someone or other? I can't remember. Where are you going? Stay there. Push down this port for me. Good. Come on, France. Give it up. You're telling me I sincerely have to push the Maginot line to make them capitulate. It's outrageous. But if that's what it'll take, that's what I shall do. We'll go through the bit without a river crossing, and we'll take Nancy. Or you could just capitulate now and save us the trouble and ridiculously large amounts of loss of life that will come from me closing the pocket on the Maginot. 
You've already lost, what, almost a million souls. Captured, killed, or otherwise rendered incom incompatible with combat. What a very strange way to phrase that. Speed it up a bit. I wanted it to finish in May. Oh well. More convoy losses. I don't know why it's showing all ships as sunk ships. It's a bit weird. <laughs> no matter. If we could take Nice, that might do it. Also Grenoble. I think that's how you say that. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, oh, just the auto save slowing it down. I thought they were capitulating. <laughs> we might be able to push the freaking Maginot right now. Nah. Unnecessary casualties will be taken if we do that. Oh, excuse me, Holt, thank you. Let's see, how many casualties do we take on that little push? Only 22. Obviously, I didn't keep it going for a particularly long time. Some of you guys switch over to port garrisoning, please. You may struggle to get to those particular port garrisons. It's a bit of a, a bit of a hot spot. Finally, France! Thank you. France has capitulated. Alright, let's just clean things up. Wipe out the last remaining vestiges of the British Expeditionary Force. Oh, we never, <laughs> we never killed Belgium. Sorry, Belgium? Luxembourg. Let's do that. Okay, marvellous. Good work, team. Excellent. The uh, tank corps comported themselves excellently during the invasion of France. We uh, achieved very rapid control over the north. Slowed down slightly as we pushed into the south. The tank numbers really started to become an issue there. I imagine I have a decision to set up uh, Vichy France. So you can dismantle the Maginot Line. But why would you do that? Oh, it gives you construction speed bonuses for coastal and land forts, I guess because you're like nicking the uh, nicking the resources from the Maginot, but uh, doesn't seem necessary. Push claim the Greater Reich and you control of Leningrad and Stalingrad and you can get you can rename somewhere West Berlin is renamed to Germania and you become known as the Greater Reich does it actually do anything helpful? No, that seems hopeless, that seems pointless but you know change the name, kind of cool uh, anything else we want to do right now? I don't think so. Got all the ports garrisoned, I think. Over garrisoned in the case of this one. In fact, we don't have enough for Walter's army to be useful anymore, so we'll just merge that in under Runstead. Okay, and as soon as we finished off these guys and Luxembourg, that will be the end of the French offensive. Oops. Yep, there we go. Just cross the river. That'll be fine. <clears throat> Over-importing oil. Interesting. Wonder how that worked out. Italian East Africa. We could import. Right, the plane situation. I think I'll deal with that in the next episode. Okay, well, in the next episode, we will attack Greece. We will take stock of the, uh, the new suppression, plane, and manufacturing situation. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.